Welcome to the Fungus's YouTube channel. As a mycology expert, I am excited to take you on a journey into the world of fungi and the innovative systems we use at Fungus's to cultivate a variety of mushroom species. My name is Shachar Jerishalmi. I first discovered Fungus's during my PhD research in fungi. Upon visiting the labs, I was blown away by the growth tents equipped with sensors and instruments to control and monitor the environment for optimal fungi growth. And the best part? These tents can be controlled from your smartphone, making it easy to cultivate mushrooms from the comfort of your own home. Before we dive into the details of our growth process, it's important to ensure that our workspace is as clean as possible. We use clean wipes and 70% ethanol to thoroughly sanitize our pavilions and shelves. We also carefully check each kit for contamination before use. Now, let's go over the three stages of fungi cultivation, which include the spawn run, primordia initiation and fruit body development. During the spawn run, we inoculate the substrate with the chosen fungi and allow it to grow until it consumes most of the substrate. This stage requires high carbon dioxide concentrations and complete darkness. Next up is the primordia initiation stage, when the mycelium stops spreading and starts focusing on creating fruiting bodies. This stage requires high humidity light, low CO2 concentration and good ventilation. It ends when primordia, or the tiny beginnings of fruiting bodies appear. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications to keep the videos coming. Throughout the process, it is important to regularly monitor the growth. To make any necessary adjustments to the conditions in the tent, by following a carefully planned growth protocol. And paying close attention to the needs of the fungi, we are able to successfully cultivate a variety of mushroom species. At Fungusis, our goal is to create a growth protocol that can be used to grow several fungi species simultaneously. To do this, we chose species with similar growing conditions. Since it was our first trial and we wanted to learn the system and its performance, we chose two easy-to-cultivate species. The pink oyster, Pleurotus jamor, and the golden oyster, Pleurotus citronopileatus. Both of these species prefer high temperatures and high humidity. While the golden oyster is a bit more delicate, both are relatively easy to grow. Another aspect that is very important to us is to achieve the most efficient protocol possible for maximum yield and minimum resources and expenses. These fungi species require extremely high humidity. For the pink oyster, Pleurotus jamor, it ranged from 95% to 100% for primordia initiation, and 85% to 90% for the fruiting body. While for the golden oyster, Pleurotus citronopileatus, 98% 100% for primordia initiation, and 90% 95% for fruiting body initiation respectively. Through several rounds of trial and error, we found that we can get very good growth and yields while maintaining 85% humidity throughout both stages. This might not sound like a lot but when growing in mass these numbers become very significant. By doing this kind of research and preparation work with our system, we aim to optimize the growth protocol to achieve maximum yields while keeping energy consumption and expenses to a minimum. Thank you for joining me on this behind-the-scenes tour of Fungusis. I hope you now have a better understanding of the process of cultivating fungi and the role of the fungi systems in making it easier and more efficient. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Thanks once again for taking the time to watch and I hope to see you in future videos.